what's going on. But man, these stories right here is crazy. Uh, breaking news, El Chapo, one of the most notorious uh, drug uh, lords in Mexico, has been found guilty on all 10 counts by a federal jury in New York City. You're seeing never before seen footage uh, of El Chapo being transferred to the United States just two years ago by DEA agents from Mexico. Uh, as you see there, one of those agents standing behind in the background, El Chapo, uh, looking up at one of the officers. He is in, uh, in custody, as Josh was describing, um, under uh, pretty secure conditions. Josh, speaking of resources and being resourceful, uh, we do know that El Chapo has operated like a mob boss uh, in Mexico. Has there been any concern about the safety of the, of the jurors and the safety of the witnesses who had to come forward and testify publicly here? Well, that was some discussion, uh, and, and it always is with, with a very, very violent person who's on trial. Uh, a number of commentators were wondering, was the, the delay in the jury coming to a verdict, taking over five days, was that in somehow related to some fear the jurors might have for their own safety? Frankly, <laughs> I was talking to, to other, other journalists uh, who were watching this, and, and people were remarking among reporters that, would, would you really want to be on the jury for, for this kind of, of a trial? And, and the truth is, it has to be taken into account. The judge has made has taken extra special precautions in terms of keeping identities safe, secure, not releasing information, not releasing the identities of cooperating witnesses. But truth is that there, there is always there is always a level of danger associated with this. And but this still the jury did its job. It listened to three months of testimony and then they, they the jury took its time five and a half days of deliberations and they came to this result guilty on all 10 counts was reportedly lured onto that plane that flew to West Texas. His name is Ismael Elmayo Zimbada. He co-founded the cartel alongside Joaquin El Chapo Guzman and took control of it after El Chapo's arrest in 2016. Zimbada was known for running the smuggling operations while keeping a lower profile than El Chapo. He eluded authorities for decades and was one of the DEA's most wanted fugitives. The U.S. government had offered a reward of up to $15 million for information leading up to his capture. The other arrest is El Chapo's son, Joaquin Guzman Lopez. Government sources say he cut a deal with U.S. authorities to turn on El Mayo. U.S. authorities say fentanyl is the leading cause of death for Americans ages 18 to 45. Fentanyl is the deadliest drug threat our country has ever faced. The Justice Department will not rest until every single cartel leader, member, and associate responsible for poisoning our communities is held accountable. Both men face charges for drug trafficking. Zimbada also faces charges for money laundering, firearms offenses, kidnapping, and conspiracy to commit murder. Mexican authorities did not immediately comment 